about these different kinds of processes, <coughs> I want to talk about one way that we can measure heat for chemical reactions, and that is bomb calorimetry. So this is an image of the basic layout of a bomb calorimeter. What, this, what a bomb calorimeter relies on is the fact that if you have an isochoric process, uh, we saw that the work is equal to zero, so everything that happens, you know, any change that happens in terms of the energy is all in the form of heat. So we have the case that delta U is equal to Q for an isochoric process, which means that if we can measure the heat change, uh, or in this case, if we know CV not equals CV delta T, that lets us measure the heat, and that can tell us how much heat is released uh, in a chemical reaction or absorbed if we have an endothermic reaction. <coughs> so to do this, we have this bomb calorimeter. Let's use red. Um, so this is the bomb here. This is made out of steel and it has a constant volume. And so this is what allows us to be a constant volume process. And we attempt to make the system as isolated as possible. Um, so our system is the reaction happening here and we, and we try to limit the surroundings to just what's right here. And so there's an insulating jacket here, like basically a gigantic thermos to try and prevent any heat exchange with the air, uh, the atmosphere, the room outside. So we put in our reaction that we're trying to do and we have a set of ignition wires, so we send an electrical um, pulse into our reaction to start the reaction. And then what we're measuring is the temperature change. So the, the main measurement we actually make is with this thermometer here. We're looking for this delta T, um, which will let us figure out how much heat is produced by the reaction. Uh, and so to be able to do this, we need to be able to know what the, the uh, heat capacity for our system is, CV, and to do this we have to calibrate the calorimeter with a reaction of known heat release. Uh, so often this is, uh, we need to calibrate with something like um, benzoic acid combustion is a common one that's used for this. And so we put in a known amount of benzoic acid, you know, we weigh it out, put it in, and we have to fill this with oxygen uh, so we can see this oxygen supply right here. And that allows us to find the heat change for, um, for a chemical reaction. So we will actually do a bomb calorimetry experiment in lab. Um, well, not a bomb calorimetry, a calorimetry experiment. Ours will be a little bit different, and we'll see that when we get to it.